Alrighty guys, so-called death wobble. Nah, I wouldn't call it a death wobble. Anyway, I got a drive axle down here. Now, I don't know how you can physically tell that the drive shaft is out of balance. I mean, you can go on a drive and try to get a gauge of feel of how the wobble is happening. But guys, when it comes to wobble or any kind of suspension uh, variation diagnosis, I'm going to tell you something guys. The number one parts you should be looking at is the tires. Yes, you got to inspect the suspension and all that stuff, everything related to the suspension. Thank goodness it's not a four-wheel drive. It would be harder to diagnose. This is a, just a two-wheel drive, rear-wheel drive truck. But the tires have to be inspected. And even, and I'm not even talking about just visual because tire thread can cause all kinds of issues, guys. But they got me an axle they want me to put in. I don't know if it's a so-called death wobble. That phrase has been misused uh a lot lately okay well it is a four-wheel drive there is a transfer case okay so you can either uh you can have problems with either drive shell <laughs> all right so yes this is a four-wheel drive unit i don't know uh somebody has diagnosed this guys i'm just gonna install the drive shell and go and test drive it and see what happens oh my goodness even differential even the diff can cause that uh Anything, the vehicle is under load, guys. Think about what's happening when you're under load. Just say you're going up a hill. Things like axle shaft uh, could be out of balance because your major load is on the axles when you damn, uh, when you take off. So, it's a lot of things coming to play when you're dealing with suspension, noises, or shake and vibration. I mean, it could be something as simple as this rail, step rail not bolted down properly so be careful what how you diagnose it's always a trial thing with a wobble all right you got to try this like i said you can't i can't visually look at this drive shaft and tell if it's out of balance all right nobody can i mean you can base it off mileage and look because see some of them have weights on them uh the weights are designed to help it stay in balance but who knows anyway guys i'm getting ready to replace this now i'm not going to film this it's fairly easy guys i'm gonna take all the four screws off and uh, slide the axle out of the extension housing of the transfer case and go in with the new one. All right, so let me get it, man. Let's get to it, man. Let me take a quick break. Uh, I tried to sell, or I asked them did they sell a dip service and things like that. Uh, no upsell, just JT, I need you to need your help. I need you to put in this drive shaft. I'm like, for what? Death wobble. Oh, you know, that's the. A huge word in the automotive community <laughs> even though it's not really a death wobble i haven't really had much experience dealing with that they got a handle on it a while back so uh engineers got a handle on why a vehicle would produce such a wobble vi vibration things like that so let me take a break guys i gotta get this axle done stay tuned Right, guys like i say it was fairly easy to replace put on just four bolts now guys in order to turn this shaft in order to gain access to the boat i literally had to take the transmission out of gear notice if the transmission is in park the shaft would not rotate or turn all right so now i'm glad i said something i got to remember to put this back on i had to take the shifter grommet off of the shifter level so let me put it back in park and reinstall my shifter all right uh, do not forget to do this guys or it could make for a long day in fact that is so tight i might have to grab a pry bar but let me finish this wrap this up because i gotta go on a test drive so uh here's the old one like i say guys you cannot visually look at this and tell if it's causing your wobble i mean nobody's that good i don't know a way to balance them or check the balance of them but in other words, they just say replace it. So I'm going to get all that set up. I'm going on a test drive, I guess. All right. Uh, for now, I don't think it's a death wobble. Again, that's just the terminology that's been overly used and overrated. Now, the Wranglers had a problem with it. Um, it was not drive. Most of the problems on the Wranglers stem from track bars. Uh, yeah, we had a recall come out on it. Uh, yeah, I heard it was scaring people. <laughs> track bars, they was installing, trying to correct that wobble. 
but they got a handle on them now. So you don't hear that phrase much nowadays. All right, guys. All right. See, I'm getting ready to go on a test drive. And I want y'all to look at some things you need to pay attention, guys. Got to make sure the customer not complaining about a vibration when braking. If you take a look at these rotors, like I don't know if the guy gave an estimate on it. Look at that rotor. How? Yeah, I guarantee that's a break or shake when braking, a vibration when braking. So you got to dig out of the customer exactly what they're talking about. Make sure you're not misinterpreting the diagnosis. I myself did not diagnose it, but I am a part of the problem now. Okay. Um, because I made the repair. So I'll see what I find on my test drive, guys. Let's get it. All right, guys. I am about to. Whoa, look at this nice. About to go on a test drive. Woo. Somebody finna have some fun this Memorial Day weekend, guys. This is what I call living it up. Look at that beauty. And look what he's powering it with, guys. The heavy duty turbo diesel Ram 2500. Okay. Yes, that is a great combination. Somebody's going to have some fun. Sweetwater by Godfrey. Yes, love it. All right, uh, back to business. Yes, guys, I'm getting ready to go test drive. Guys, I don't know if y'all heard that. Well, I didn't have the camera rolling when I first started up. That exhaust, that Hemi exhaust tick, guys, that thing is louder in the morning time. So if you suspect you have an exhaust leak at a broken stud or anything like that, the best time to diagnose such is first thing in the morning. Okay, uh, that's when you would hear it more. All right, so I'm about to get on the road. I don't like filming. Whoa, did I hit that? No, I didn't. I don't like filming while I'm on the road, but go through this little tunnel. We're going. Oh, what was that? I heard something, guys. We need to get up to 70 miles an hour. The uh, repair order or the complaint says vibration at uh, 60. It's like they're talking about right when you get at 60, it starts vibrating. Now, you got to be careful with that, guys, because back in the day, we had problems with torque converter lockup shutter. It's shutter, right when lockup mode kick in. Y'all know what lockup mode is when uh, car makers want your torque converter and clutch to engage. That simply means hopefully you in cruise control mode and in order for the car to maintain a good emission uh, mixture, uh, it will lock the torque converter up in anticipation of you driving at a constant speed. All right, so that helps. But back in the day, we used to have a problem when, when the torque converter lock up, it would cause a major shutter. Shutter, 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 shake, vibration, right at a specific speed. Because the torque converter is designed to lock up, say, at 40. Okay, so a customer will come in, man, when I hit 40 miles an hour, my whole car shake. So you got to be careful with vibration in general. All right, guys, I'm getting ready to get on the expressway. I will talk to you guys in a second. Stay tuned. All right, guys, as you can see, I'm on the freeway. Look, guys, no traffic. Okay, so don't panic or dog me out. Now, as you can also see, I'm maintaining a speed of 60 miles per hour, which is the speed they say the wobble happened. And lo and behold, I feel no wobble, guys. All right. Now, uh, however, I do feel a slight vibration when braking. That's what I mean by making sure you're tackling the right complaint, guys. Now, let me get out of the fast lane before I get dogged out by some of my... <laughs> Y'all know what I'm talking about. But anyway, guys, uh, did, did I fix the problem? Guys, I have no way of judging because I didn't drive it before. I don't know if there was a so-called death wobble before or not i merely installed the part for the problem but if i had to give an accurate assessment of the repair i would say there is no wobble but i can't say there is no more no no more wobble because i didn't duplicate or verify that there was a wobble in the first place but maintaining 60 to 70 mile per hour constant speed i feel no wobble at all so I'm pretty much done, but I ever I will cover and see why. Hey, cover my butt and uh, notate that there is a vibration when braking, and I'm also a big fan of uh, uh, alignment. Okay, because if toe off a little bit, guys, I mean you don't have to be much. Toe if those two wheels are not <laughs> rotating straight down the road the way they should be, 
with each other in sync with each other yes you can have a vibration guys all right so guys i'm done that's all i have man thanks for watching the videos any questions please already be subscribed and you can ask whatever you want it don't even have to be on this topic you can ask anything all right i just all i ask is that you be subscribed and thumbs up the video guys that's all i have thanks for watching comment subscribe i'll see y'all on the next video